Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Most Bible believers know that the Bible is filled with promises from God, yes. and they know that it's for them. Yes. But there's a disconnect between knowing that and the manifestation of your healing, the manifestation of your loved one coming to know the Messiah, the manifestation of that job you've been believing God for, that career you've been... There seems to be year after year yeah. after year. I'm a believer, yeah. but it's not manifesting. Yeah. Yeah. My guest went to heaven and received supernatural wisdom, a gift, and he wants to teach you how the promises of God are so pregnant and ready to be manifested yeah. Yeah. now. Well, my guest is Stephen Brooks, and I had him as my special teacher on one of my trips to Israel. And for the first time in my life, I smelled supernatural aromas. It was beautiful in Israel, but it's different now. I don't know about any of you at home or in the studio audience, but I, the minute you sat down, I began to smell Frankincense, I believe. Yes, it is the presence of the Lord. Now, whenever you're smelling frankincense, Sid, I do. it means that the blessings of God, God's very best blessings, will manifest in your life. I take it! <laughs> How about you? You take it, too. Okay. Now, you're one of these guys that provoked me to jealousy. You said this year you were caught up into heaven and someone I had never heard of, but then I studied, greeted you when you got to heaven. Who was that? Well, I was praying in my bedroom on my knees, Sid, and I went into a vision, and the next thing I knew, I was going up, 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 and I was in heaven, and I was greeted by a person, I would describe him as a tour guide, who was going to show me around the heavenly realm, and it was Joseph of Cupertino. It, this man had a tremendous walk with the Lord, and he was known in church history as a man uh, who would be lifted up by the Spirit and would fly. And this man took me all over heaven flying. We went around mountains, over mountains, across beautiful rivers, and we arrived in the city of God. Our feet came down, and he introduced me to somebody I have Steve. never met before. Sorry. I have read about the 24 elders in the book of Revelation. He introduced me to one of the 24 elders, and he had a golden scepter in his hand that was about six feet long, and at the top of the scepter there was a red ruby that was cut and faceted and polished, and he took that scepter and he leaned it forward towards me, and the tip with the ruby went right into my chest. He put it right into my chest, and he said, you, you haven't been, been sleeping, sleeping good. good. And I said, that's right. right. And he put that scepter into my chest, and I felt the love of God, the warmth of God. God's healing power went into my chest. And I know there's no time frame in heaven, but it seemed like he held it there for about two minutes. And he seemed like he was up to something than just more than me receiving a healing from God. But, but let me just take him a step further. The ruby, he found out, signifies wisdom. And when he got back to earth, he started operating in wisdom that he never had before. 
Tell me about, say, a business decision since you got this wisdom. What happened? Well, it was interesting, Sid, because there was a venture I wanted to be involved in, and I talked to the Lord about it and gave the Lord many good reasons why I thought He should give me a thumbs up to move forward on this. And I said, Lord, this is good. There's nothing wrong with it, and, and gave Him list after list of why I thought these are justifiable reasons. And, and so I just presented it to the Lord and waited for a response. In the meantime, I had done some prayer and fasting, and when I came off that fast, the Holy Spirit just reminded me to ask again to get the final answer. I said, oh Lord, by the way, what about that question I had asked you about that venture that I wanted to get involved in? And said the presence of the Lord came with that wisdom. Whenever there's the presence, there's the person. So the Lord came with His wonderful presence. I immediately grabbed the Bible, and the Bible randomly opened, and it fell to a page where the Holy Spirit seemed to lift up in 3D the verse off the page. I couldn't see any other verses. I just saw that verse. And to paraphrase it loosely, the verse basically said, do not do this. It will be a distraction from you and draw your attention away from me. I want you to start pressing into that wisdom right now. And you say, we all need a revelation of faith. What do you mean by that? Well, for, for the manifestations to occur. Yes, because a revelation really is an unveiling. It's something where you pull the curtain back and you see it for the first time. It's been there the whole time, but for the first time we're actually seeing the importance, the value of something that God puts tremendous emphasis on. So faith comes by a revelation of its tremendous ability to change your life. So whether it's a healing, whether it's God touching your finances, all of the blessings of God are accessed through faith. And so when you release your faith and know the potential that Jesus said all things are possible to him who believes, you think, wow, I want to do some specific believing and produce some specific manifestations. Uh, the Bible talks about different levels of faith, and they, they talk about people with little faith. And yes. many people, if they're honest, they'd say, I'd have little faith. Is there hope? Yes, and I think we have to be honest. We have have to appropriately measure our current faith level. It's like an athlete going into the gym, and mm -hmm. the person's lifting 200 pounds over their head. And so somebody might say, I can't do that. That's okay. The thing is, if you want to, we can take you there. There are training principles. There are nutritional guidelines. There are things that we can do to increase your strength. And there are people lifting over 500 pounds over their head. So it works the same way with faith. You can develop your faith. You may not be able to lift it in your current place, but you say, I can't lift that now, but I believe that my faith level is going to grow to the point where I can lift this and take hold of that promise of God. And as you get stronger, you will, and you'll be able to see that all things are possible to him who believes. Yeah, you know, when we come back, uh, I'm going to have Stephen share some supernatural wisdom on manifesting God's blessings. Some will surprise you. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. We now return to It's Supernatural! I, I hope you're having as much fun as we're having here. Uh, Stephen, at this moment in history, I notice people that are really hungry for God, really yes. hungry for the things of God, they're really zooming in the supernatural. Uh, how important is it for us to be hungry for God? It's essential. 
critical. You have to have that hunger to go after the things of God. So if you'll initiate the move, God will come right alongside and you'll begin to go into areas of the glory that you only thought could happen in your wildest dreams. God it's will available take you there. to everyone? Yes, but you have to press in. You have to pursue okay. the Lord in this area. All right. What if the flesh is causing you to spend more time with your hobby, more time with television, uh, more time, lots of these things, and you want to press in, but the flesh is just pulling, pulling, pulling. What advice do you give us? Just give God your initial best. If you will take that step, the grace of God will come, and the next thing, you're going two steps, three steps, and now you begin to get momentum. Once you get that momentum, stay in it. It will only begin to increase. You'll go higher in the Spirit. Stephen, God revealed a concept, a supernatural concept about the Nighthawk. Explain. Yes, I found it in the Bible. It's mentioned in Deuteronomy chapter 14, where it talks about this amazing bird called the Nighthawk, and he's nocturnal. He flies at night. And then I began to realize that much of the praying that the Lord Jesus did was in the very early hours of the morning when it was still dark outside. And so the Holy Spirit began to show me that He wants the people of God to fly, to soar like a night hawk because it's cloaked in divine secrecy. You actually fly beneath the radar of the enemy. He doesn't have any clue in the world what you're doing because it's just you and the Lord alone in your quiet place in prayer, receiving revelation from God and walking in very close fellowship with the Lord. Now, I happen to be, because everyone's different, what's known as an early person. Yes. I'm at my best early. Yes. I'd rather do it early in the morning than the middle of the night. Will that work for me? Yes, that's still biblical because it says in Mark 135 that the Lord Jesus arose early in the morning to go out and pray and he went out to a solitary place and prayed. He did that a long while before the sun ever came up. How do you pray? I just wake up and I begin to spend time with the Lord sitting there in the darkness, waiting on the Lord, saying, Lord, what would you like to talk about today? And he will come. He's the master teacher. What, what if he doesn't come? What would you do? Then you pursue him. You pursue until the glory comes and he'll lead you into it. He'll lead you into you. He'll give you a little samplings and he'll pull you deeper. You do something else that I haven't, I really haven't heard before, and that is this part I've heard of. Actually, I've heard of both, but I've not heard of them together. That is praying in supernatural languages, God talk. Yes. And visualizing at the same time. Yes, it's what uh, launched my ministry. Give me a real life example, maybe launching your ministry. Tell me about it. Yes, that. and it can work for anybody regardless of their career, occupation, or calling. For me, there was a strong desire to go out and pray every weekend afternoon on the bleachers of the ballpark. I would just walk back and forth on the empty bleachers. There was nobody there. And I would pray in the Spirit for hours because I had this sense, God has a ministry for me to the nations. And I didn't have a passport, but this thing was in me. You're going to go to the nations, begin to pray into it. So I would pray into it by speaking in tongues and just praying out in the Spirit. At the same time, while well, I would do that, to emphasize the impact of it, I would visualize myself getting on large jet airliners and going to nations. And it took uh, some time of doing that week after week. And now that is my life calling of running to the nations. We just got back from Europe and God is doing great miracles. If, but if you hadn't done that, right. would you be where you are today? I would not be where I'm at today. I prepared it and sowed into it and now I'm reaping that harvest. Could it? <laughs> Could it be the, the, the scripture, many are called, few are chosen? He was called, but most just say, well, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I don't believe that. Do you? We have to pursue. There is the prophetic promise, but we must go after the Lord with all of our energy, all of our strength, and we'll achieve amazing results. You talk about actually prophetic actions release the manifestation. Tell me about that couple uh, that needed a Land Rover. Well, there's many examples that you can do to step out in faith. You're going to have to find some type of specific work to attach to your faith. And there was a missionary that was believing God for a Land Rover. And he's out in an area of great remote, uh, a place where there's no access to receive help from what we would call the outside world. But yet he's believing God for a Land Rover. And what he did is decide to 
wash an imaginary Land Rover. So he got a bucket of water and he got some soap and a, and a sponge and he said, I by faith believe that God's going to get me a Land Rover and I'm going to start washing it every day because when I get it, I'm going to take good care of it. By faith, he said, I've got it now. And to the shock of all the locals who are watching him do this crazy act, to the shock of everybody in the community, God blessed that man miraculously. Somebody brought him a Land Rover. Now, when you went to heaven, you received a mantle yes. of wisdom, but you've received many mantles, and he's prayed for people to receive mantles, and they have received them. Uh, tell me a few, j just real briefly, two or three types of mantles that people can receive. One of the easiest mantles to get, especially in this anointing that's here right now, is a prophetic mantle. That way you can flow with the Spirit. We have to have a prophetic anointing. Jesus is a prophet. He's very prophetic, and He speaks through prophetic imagery. And when you can pick up on that, you can begin to know how Jesus moves and operates. Okay, when we come back, I'm going to have Stephen pray for healings, miracles, and mantles. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Call now and get Stephen Brooks' anointed brand new book and four-part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, plus this Manifesting Your Healing Scripture card, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience, yours. For a donation of $39, shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9483. Stephen's biblically-based book, Manifesting the Blessings of God, is filled with practical gems Stephen has gleaned from his personal experiences and revelation direct from heavenly encounters with God. Through his book, you will learn how to transform your mind so you can think from God's realm of unlimited supply. Build your faith through a supernatural prayer language. Enjoy God's blessings while living in the place of unparalleled peace. Ask and receive the desires of your heart. Activate the process of manifesting the blessings of God. Pastor Stephen Brooks also teaches you six sharp angelic arrows to activate the end times wealth transfer into your life. Five practical and proven principles that will Will produce mega miracle manifestations in your life. Through his four part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, Stephen Brooks will teach you how to access every promise and provision that heaven has made available for you. The revelation within this series is key to learning how to live victoriously in the kingdom of God. The series contains the flowing, life changing messages, Manifesting Ongoing Miracles, Manifesting Wealth from Heaven, Manifesting Your Healing, Manifesting Divine Encounters. Plus, you will receive this manifestation. Manifesting Your Healing Scripture Card, which includes scriptures to help you obtain healing for multiple ailments in your body, your eyes, ears, back, arms, feet, lungs, blood, colds, flu, fever, immune system, mental illness, skin problems, sleep disorders, extended life, and so much more. God wants His great blessings to manifest in your life, in your finances, in your health, in every facet of your life. Don't miss out on getting Stephen Brooks' anointed brand new book and four-part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, plus this Manifesting Your Healing Scripture card, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience, yours. For a donation of $39, shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9483. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9483 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, I, I said to Stephen, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Yes. Sound familiar? Yes. Okay, Stephen. Yes. You just got back from meetings in England. What happened there? We had some very powerful meetings in England where the Spirit of God was moving, and in the last service, mantles began to fall on the people in a very, very tangible way, coming over their shoulders, people having powerful sensations of a burning in their hands with healing gifts being released to God's people. You know, it's like a, a new wardrobe. If we wore the same clothes for 30 years, it might get a little bit boring. So God releases new mantles, new garments, new assignments, new callings, and new giftings, and they fall on God's people with tangible presence of God's goodness. 
uh, many physical healings take place? There? Yes, healings take place, and also people can get healed while at the same time receiving a healing anointing. No, I'm talking about in the meeting in, heal in England. Yes. Yes, it was happening. People were being healed and in their bodies and then standing up and receiving a new anointing to go out and pray for the sick from the very thing they just got healed from. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing things. People with problems in the neck, if you move your head, you'll see that the, the pain is gone. Anything actually from the neck up, sinus, uh, thyroid, and any, it's yours. Just take it. Yes. Uh, Stephen, uh, we hear the term from the Bible, prayer and supplication. What is the word? I know what prayer yes. means. What does the word supplication mean? Sid, before we talk about that supplication, there are people that are watching right now. You're smelling a fragrance like a burning incense. And the Lord is healing sinuses. The Lord is healing incurable infections. And you're like, what is this fragrance that smells like, bur uh, like myrrh or fragrances burning? And so that is the cleansing power of God. There are people watching with HIV. And as you're smelling this, God is cleansing you of that disease. And you can go back and check. You're going to find out that Jesus has healed you of HIV. So receive the healing anointing of Jesus now. Okay. Uh, supplication. It's just where you go before the Lord in prayer and you're asking, but you're asking in a sense like, Lord, I can't take no for an answer. Lord, you promised me in your word that you would do this for me. And you come before the Lord and you pour your heart out before God and God looks down and says, I'm going to do this for you. You have given me your heart. You have devoted your life to me. I'm going to answer your prayer by fire. Briefly, I've got to ask you about this angelic wealth transfer you teach on. It is in the Word of God revealed in the New Testament as an end time revelation for the body of Christ. You see in Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 where the Lord says, the silver and gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And that basically means Lord of hosts, the captain of the angelic armies. And Jesus, Messiah, is captain over all the armies of heaven. But oftentimes we don't see in the New Testament what we see in the Old Testament of the Jehovah names of God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Shalom. You move to the New Covenant, you don't see that. But in the book of James chapter 5, it says that the wicked rich have heaped up treasure in the last days, and it's come to the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Who is the Lord of Sabaoth? That is a transliteration where we have lost the original Hebrew meaning. It is the Lord of of host. It is Jehovah Sabah and is the captain of the angelic armies. He is going to come and send his angels and shake wealth into the body of Christ, where the body of Christ is moved from being the tail to becoming the head. I, I'm going to tell you something. I believe that the glory of God is so strong on this set. Yes. You said I was distracting you because not a, you can't see it maybe on TV, but if you were close, you would see gold on my face. Yes, I almost feel like I'm vibrating and shaking under the power of God that's in this studio right now. I need you to pray right now. Mantles, miracles. Lift up your hands wherever you're at. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is an end time church that you have. The end time church must be a prophetic church. There was one John the Baptist, but now there is a corporate body saying, prepare the way for the Lord's return. Father, let that end time prophetic anointing, lift your hands, let it come on your people now. In the name of Jesus, receive healing anointings falling on you now. Somebody's lungs were completely healed. You can now breathe. You are delivered from asthma. Anointings for prosperity, financial anointings, golden anointings are coming down now. Evangelistic mantles are calling and falling upon you, John the Baptist, and Paul type ministries. Receive it and go out in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mighty, mighty evangelistic mantles are falling upon young people all over the world. Take it and run with the fire of God. And in Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name, yes, there is an Orthodox Jewish person watching me right now. I say to you that the promises of God for everyone are yes, and so be it, in Yeshua's name.
Are you praying for miracles, your healing, or your breakthrough? Are you still waiting for God to answer your prayers? Are you ready to watch invisible promises of God to become visible blessings in your life? What is the key for you to receive answers from heaven? Stephen Brooks wants to help you understand how to truly walk in the supernatural of God and experience every promise and blessing God desires for you to manifest in your everyday life. God wants His great blessings to manifest in your life. Everything from favor, goodness, mercy, forgiveness, eternal life, and grace poured out abundantly in your finances, in your health, in your body, success in every facet of your life. Call now and get Stephen Brooks' anointed brand new book and four-part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, plus this Manifesting Your Healing Scripture card, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours. For a donation of $39, shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9483. Stephen's biblically based book, Manifesting the Blessings of God, is filled with practical gems Stephen has gleaned from his personal experiences and revelation direct from heavenly encounters with God. Through his book, you will learn how to transform your mind so you can think from God's realm of unlimited supply. Build your faith through a supernatural prayer language. Enjoy God's blessings while living in the place of unparalleled peace. Ask and receive the desires of your heart. Activate the process of manifesting the blessings of God. Pastor Stephen Brooks also teaches you six sharp angelic arrows to activate the end times wealth transfer into your life. Five practical and proven principles principles that will produce mega miracle manifestations in your life. Through his four-part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, Stephen Brooks will teach you how to access every promise and provision that heaven has made available for you. The revelation within this series is key to learning how to live victoriously in the kingdom of God. The series contains the flowing life-changing messages, manifesting ongoing miracles, manifesting wealth from heaven, manifesting your healing, manifesting divine encounters. Plus, you will receive receive this Manifesting Your Healing Scripture card, which includes scriptures to help you obtain healing for multiple ailments in your body, your eyes, ears, back, arms, feet, lungs, blood, colds, flu, fever, immune system, mental illness, skin problems, sleep disorders, extended life, and so much more. Let every man be a liar, but God's Word is true, and it's ready to manifest in your life in reference to your children, in reference to your spouse, in reference to your finances, in reference to the pain you're going through. And this man over here is not teaching by theory. He's teaching by provoke me to jealousy revelation. Don't miss out on getting Stephen Brooks' anointed brand new book and four-part audio CD teaching, Manifesting the Blessings of God, plus this Manifesting Your Healing Scripture card, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours. For a donation of $39, shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9483. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9483 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Is it possible that there actually exists a master blueprint from ancient times that we're all following and that reveals everything that has happened, that is happening, and that will happen? Join me, Jonathan Kong, on It's Supernatural and find out. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.